Welcome back guys. Let's get started with the practical stuff now. In this video we're gonna learn how we can install RVM and Ruby in our system. Before that, we welcome you to our YouTube channel. Alright, so, we're going to go ahead and install Ruby on Rails in Ubuntu. And we're going to use something called RVM which stands for Ruby Version Manager. And basically, it's used to manage Ruby environments. So, how to install Ruby by using RVM in Ubuntu? First of all, we have to install RVM, and to install it, we have to go to Google, and search, install RVM. And then open the official Ruby Version Manager website link. And the first command we have to execute is to install the GPG key. It is used to verify the installation package, so run it on the command terminal. So now GPG keys have been verified successfully. Now, for Ubuntu RVM installation, there are GitHub instructions. And we will click on it, but before that, if you are using any other Linux operating system such as Mac OS, I will suggest you run this command, install RVM stable with Ruby. It will help you to install the latest version of RVM. With the stable version of Ruby. And for this, you might need curl. Which is another software using the AVD installer. So, let's go and see. How to install RVM for Ubuntu in GitHub. So we have to click on the link and follow the command given on so. Here the first one is to install software properties a common copy that runs the command on the terminal. And it will ask you for your administrative password, so enter the password. I have already run this command so, it doesn't show anything to be installed for us. So, in the next step, we have to do these three commands. Okay, let's run it one by one. So, we have already installed RVM in the system. So for you, it will be showing installation progress and RVM will be getting installed. And, that's how you install RVM in Ubuntu. So, now let's see, after the installation you have to make these changes in your terminal to run. As a command as a login shell. And for that, you have to do edit preferences. And inside command tab. Just tick the box and close it. Or you can have an alternative option by writing this command in the command prompt. Just paste and run it. And then reboot your system to apply changes. So, once you have installed the RVM, there is a command called RVM list. That lists the installed version of Ruby in your system. And on my PC there is no Ruby installed yet. So, how to install a Ruby by using RVM. For example, you need a Ruby version 2.3.5. So to install write the code RVM install 2.3.5 and OK. And wait till it gets installed. So, the installation is completed now. Let's clear it. And do the RVM list command again. So that you can see a 2.3.5 Ruby is installed. Which is the current and default Ruby. That is indicated by equal and star sign. You can confirm it by writing the command ruby minus v. Now, let's learn how to install one more version of Ruby. And for this, we are going to install Ruby 2.3.7. And let's wait till it gets installed. So, now both the version is installed. And let's see the RVM list again, and OK. Now, we have both the version of Ruby installed and the current is 2.3.7. Now let's see Ruby minus V which shows the current version of Ruby 2.3.7. How to switch to the other version of Ruby by using RVM. Use RVM use 2.3.5 to switch from 2.3.7. So, now see the Ruby minus V it shows Ruby 2.3.5. So, sometimes it is inconvenient or difficult to switch between the Ruby versions. When we are having multiple projects using multiple versions of Ruby. In that case, there is a way to make it easier. 
That is to create folders RKDIR my project which is 2.3.7 and another project that will be used as 2.3.7. Now, you want to use 2.3.5 Ruby. And when you are inside MIPR 2.3.5 folder and MIPR 2.3.7 folder you want to use 2.3.7. So, the RKDIR command is used to create a folder. So instead of creating a folder from UI, I have just created it from the command prompt. If you don't know that. So, let's see, what to do to switch the Ruby version automatically. When you are in your project column or any other folder. What you have to do is to create a special file inside the folder called with the name .ruby version. And then the content should be the ocean of the ruby to be used when inside this folder. And here I am giving 2.3.7 that's it. And now let's go to the other folder my PR 2.3.5 and create there also .nano ruby version file. And then the version we needed here which is 2.3.5. So let's go behind and see what happens when we go inside this folder now. So Ruby minus V the current version is 2.3.5 in the RVM list. We can also confirm the same. Now, let's give the CD to my PR 2.3.7. We are going inside this folder. Let's see what is a Ruby version here. Yeah. See. The Ruby version has been automatically switched to 2.3.7 here. We can confirm the same with the RVM command to RVM list 2.3.7. So, this is the convenient feature you can switch between the Ruby version without actually using RVM. RVM will pick up the current version. So let's do it one more time to 2.3.5 and 2.3.5 is the current Ruby version. But before that let's switch back to the default version. RVM list. Yeah. The default version is 2.3.5. So whenever you will go to folder 2.3.7 it will switch to 2.3.7 version. Now what we have to do. You think that there is another project folder that has a Ruby version. And we have not installed that yet. So like 2.3.1. We can keep the folder name anything. We are just giving it for easy identifying in which project using which Ruby version. So, let's install 2.3.1 and create the file.ruby version. Says that we have to use 2.3.1 version Ruby in the folder so that we have to not install it. So, RVM list and 2.3.5 is the current one selected because it is the default. What happens when we switch to my project 2.3.1? We already know 2.3.1 is not installed. See, it gives a message that 2.3.1 is not installed. You can install Ruby by RVM Ruby 2.3.1. So it's a very easy and convenient way to handle Ruby with RVM. So just want to show you another example. So let's open one more terminal side by side two terminals. Now we are in two consoles. Let's type CD my PR 2.3.7 here and you know the Ruby version is 2.3.7. Same time the same computer using another terminal will go to another folder. Which is my PR 2.3.5. Let's see what is the Ruby here, it's 2.3.5. So, let me see here whether it is 2.3.5, and here is 2.3.5. So, for indifferent terminals, you can use different Ruby versions using RVM. So, RVM is a great tool. If you have to use a different version of Ruby. It can easily switch between the Ruby and you can easily install the Ruby version.
And, if you want to remove any version, what you have all to do is. RVM remove 2.3.5 that's it. Now, check the RVM list. Now we have only 2.3.7 in our system. We can install Rails using Ruby Gems. So Gem install Rails. And this could take a few minutes. So, now you can see it's installing all the documentation. It may take a while. Alright so that's it. Now it's just to make sure everything is installed. And that's the end of this video. Now you can go ahead and install RVM which will make your life easier a lot. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Bye, enjoy your day.